Russell. Hi, I'm Allison Bree. Joe Russo. Andrew Guest. Dan Harmon. Donald Glover. Gillian Jacobs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gillian. Gillian. Oh, what? Clear <laughs> <laughs> your throat before you come Who's in. Who's got a cigarette for me? That's so Joel you, McHale. You've heard some of us talk about favorite episodes and in varying degrees and stuff. The Naked Billions episode is fantastic. I don't know. We got a bunch of ones. Obviously, Paintball, but this really, this little diamond that Joe Russo directed uh, is, it stands as like the perfect like little equator uh, of what we're capable of because nothing extraordinary happens in this episode. It's a it's an episode about relationships, jealousies, betrayals, loyalties, things, and and you shot it in four days, and yet people talk about it a lot mm -hmm. as if it was paintball or something. And the the third act set piece is them looking around the table at each other, um, and it was uh yeah it's just it's great to know what the show is capable of like it's on on the on the map. Yeah, uh, this well, is, this so is on the human level, it's this is a very character based episode. Episode. Yeah, Hillary's boat episode ate this episode. It was, it was Anthony and Hillary shooting on that yeah. boat in that stupid garage. Yeah. We lost all our days. We had to cut yeah. back scenes, oh, move right. them into one location. And that's what brothers do for each other. <laughs> they give up days on their episodes. I guess, but the rest of us just have to suffer. <laughs> Doesn't seem fair. But you know what? I'm always a fan of like less time, less money. You do better work. It always happens yeah. that way. Did we only shoot this on four days? I didn't realize that. We did? Yeah. yeah. Talks about his nipples, but his feet freak me out. Britta! Hey. Hey. Can I ask you something? Ooh. Oh, yes. I still don't know if that's his first or last name. <laughs> he, he's sweet, actually. I mean, you must have thought so. He has a sincerity I found attractive in a simpler time. <sighs> Would you? Um, I haven't. Dan, will you tell the origin of the of this of the pure storyline in this? Because uh, this comes from. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, it's a friend of mine. Uh, I can't name any names, but a big like com TV comedy dude started having video nights over at his place, and he'd start inviting people over. And then another uh, one of the guys came, and he was like, this guy who had these nights took my friend outside and said, "Do you realize what's going on in there?" Because one of the guys brought, he's like, we got to do this movie next week. we got to do this movie it next week. Sorry. And there were <laughs> people telling jokes. And, and, and yeah, and then he brought my friend outside and said, I'm not doing this anymore. You, you realize what's going on in there. Like, he came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> and it was true. It was, it was, uh, yeah, I, so it comes from real life. Yeah. People, you know, who want to make jokes at movies. We yeah. think we all do it. That's this is something. great. Look at look at Gillian's face. She's intense. And then she puts on this face because she's manipulating Jeff's uh, you know, Freudian desires for Annie. Well, this was a great, I thought this was a really cool transitional episode for Gillian and her character and also for me and for Annie, um, just in terms of, you know, Britta's kind of lightening up, like turn, the turning it into a snake. I thought oh, that yeah. was like That's a pivotal moment thing. in Seeing terms of like silly. Gillian it's being so silly it was great and it. people <sighs> connecting with her on that level, which they never had before because Britta's, Britta's always like, Debbie Downer kind yeah. of before this and then Annie is like officially even if we had been subtly doing it before this is the first episode where the, I mean even hair and makeup there were notes about like we want her to <laughs> look it up. yeah let's sexy it up but in a hippie way because she's getting into Vaughn so that's like the subtle <laughs> It was change this episode was part of the chain of the eating? master plan of exactly I heard, sexing up Annie. And sexing up Annie. I heard you Joe talking uh, during the finale uh, DVD commentary about uh, the discovery during uh, debate, and this was sort of the intermediary step between debate and the finale. And the finale but I, right. yeah, and but it was, really threw me yeah. for a loop because I remember being like Vaughn. Yeah, Vaughn. This is also like we the were episode. dirtying you up. To <laughs> yeah, it's true. You had to. Annie had to get her feet wet. Yeah, uh, we, is... yeah we had to refute the 18-year-old <laughs> argument. We thought we'd do it by getting her with somebody else first, so it didn't. So the stink wasn't so strong on Jeff when it. Well, and there was a version of this story that ended with Jeff and Annie moment that oh, we then right. realized we didn't need. Mm -hmm. But mm. this is Derek Mears wow. as the Jeez. kick puncher. Was He's there? a Channel 101 guy. I don't remember that. Yeah. Awesome. He also plays Jason Voorhees in the new Friday the 13th. You know, really? the reboot. Who does? Uh, Derek Mears, the kick puncher. Oh. That's Dave That's... Seeger who <laughs> shot oh. the kick yeah. puncher stuff. And he also shot the other Abbott. He's videos. my assistant. 
Yeah. He yeah. shot the tag He's on this episode He's too. Really Dave Seeger's becoming an in-house Derek. director on the show. That uh, oh, that cyber thing on his head is like CG. It was tinfoil when they shot it, and we decided it looked like tinfoil. Two-faced, so they right. so this effects. I mean, house. we're making fun of trauma movies, but yeah. it, it looked too trauma. Yeah. <laughs> this episode looked, is one looked, of my favorite well, tags. We looked too shitty it. for trauma. Yeah, we wanted to see Troy and Abbott's version of it. That should look like yeah, tinfoil. that should look like tinfoil. And it's awesome. So you, I love it. It's the really awesome. That was CG. Um, this is also the, one of the first times we got to see Senior Chang just hanging out with the group, and we sort of explained it. Chevy but we also is that, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone loved that energy of him just being yeah. one of the, <laughs> one of the gangs. The one, of the, one of the dudes. In his tuxedo. This is also the episode uh, where they started sexing me up, too. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> really? yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look. Oh. That little glance you just gave to Abed? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Start. Oh. The will they, won't they? I'm not really away works. anything for season <laughs> They're two. They're just like, okay, we really need to sex down. Like, really show some penis. <laughs> you guys. Just uh, just uh, just uh, <laughs> if you look see, closer. this is like super hippie Annie. But then you'll notice that they start. They had a sexy. Uh, they had a sex Brita up too because she always wears pants, and now she started wearing dresses because she was feeling yeah competitive. You know what we thought? We just said, look, we're in the we're in a television medium. We have really attractive girls on this show. Hey, let's just sell. You know, it was a ass. sexual arm race. Let's get some viewers like, in. Let's just get some, get some viewers, viewers in. in. He's using weave. Let's this sex is the up this Joe, Joe's trip characters. to the wardrobe department. And one Troy. Afternoon. <laughs> All of a sudden, Britta's like, I, I have no objections either, but. TNA. There was no sell. meeting. <laughs> I, I could kiss Joe, though, because the, there's a scene... I could just kiss him, though. Oh. That's, a, that's, oh. that's so sweet. The, the, the shot, she, she was, you know, Vaughn had her arm around her when I, in the cut that I saw, like, playing guitars. She's all snuggled up to him and stuff. And I was like, oh, man, like, that's too far too soon. Like, they, they should be wanting to fight against that. So I'm emailing him, like, just bother to ask, be the douchebag guy, uh, yeah, EP, and go... Uh, if you have a version where they're not, and he did, he shot multiple versions where she's so she's not all snuggled up to him. That's that's, that's good directing I learned for after, me. After Dan took out the fire hose, <laughs> two we or all three learned. Times, so. uh, this is you great. So one. many people started yeah. responding to this. Like, like, this is basically like when we talk about uh, on other episodes, Britta and Jeff. Um, is there chemistry there? Yeah, but is it sexual chemistry? I don't know. What 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 does that mean? Like they like we like to watch these two like like be petty together. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. If you go back to talk about sort of why the Jeff Annie thing works, the uh, the the Jeff Britta thing is they're very similar characters. They're both sort of self-involved. Yeah. They're both very flawed people. They're both... Shallow. Yeah. They they're have, huge they, egomaniacs. They dress yeah. cool. they, but, they, but they pretend... It's all surface. It's better because they right. pretend to be heroes. on opposite sides. Oh, so, yeah. Because like, well, they like both want to be heroes yeah, of a different kind, but they're both, heroes, both but just... I'm right here. Just alone. <laughs> <laughs> but when they connive, it's fun to watch because they both have very just, similar agendas. And, I just want to say, and what just happened, Joel was saying <laughs> the dirtiest, grossest mm-hmm. things in my actual year. That's the grossest... Awful things. There was some, there was some funny well, ads from you like, too. You know, like when that. a girl like <laughs> it was like really gross. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> no problem. Uh, you improvised this boner line after they walk out, oh, which yes. we did uh, never believed actually could be on TV, and I That's felt and, like a kid before like, Christmas. Donald Glover Wait, putting comes. more boners in TV yeah. than... I like that we're backing away like Jean Reno in The Professional. <laughs> the opening yeah. scene when this is CB Magic, too. We're actually resetting <laughs> Donald's brain to perceive <laughs> Annie, the character boner. of Annie as hot so that we understand and his humor. Derek Comedy. Oh, Derek Comedy's in this. He's in my buddies. Derek Mears. From high school. Oh, and Derek. That guy's <laughs> name is Derek as well. You know, what's <laughs> fascinating is that we were like, look, let's, let's, you know, this group is so talented. Let's get these kids in here. Let's get, let's get, I'd love to give them a shot. Let's get them on, let's get them some screen time. This is going to be a big deal for them. And then we put them in a scene with Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> I love, like, Maggie, I gotta say, like, Maggie is not an actress. Like, she's never been an actress. She's like a producer for Derek. She, in everything we've ever put her in, she steals the scene. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's so funny. It's yeah. just like, I'm not trying to act. I just want to get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> it's that drive. It's just I, that well, drive. this exchange is great. The, yeah. you guys get, I love this exchange because it's like most, you never, you rarely get setups off of punchlines. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He likes gay jokes. And it's funny that he likes that. He likes gay jokes. Yeah. I said we write great jokes. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> he's such a dick. He's such a jerk. <laughs> Donald, you were very sick when we shot this. Oh, Do you I remember? I was so sick when I, I was trying so hard. I was it's like one, sweating and like you can mm-hmm. see under my eyes, like they're puffy. Yeah, like, there's a lot of different episodes where somebody is, is sick, sick, but this is the first one you can actually tell. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to re. I was worried that we might have to reshoot this yeah. because if his voice was different. My nose really deep. was like really. Yeah. Deep. My nose was clogged. My voice was really. I deep. think it gives you a nice kind of easy vibe. It's true. Because yeah. like, the cold medicine. It's just part of sex and up Troy. You yeah, know, exactly. I, I, I may have had a succeed. costume conversation, but I did not approve the choke collar. Oh, right. well, I think the choke collar. I think that's in the script. That's what makes that's, it that the was hippie. Not me. That's the that's the milestone there. That that's that. You, you but this is Joe Russo fantasy, Annie, and not not mine, right? I mean, you wanted to hit. Beat her up, <laughs> like you're, you. Hand. That's you foxing her up. Like yeah. I, I like her. I like. I like. Actually, little schoolgirl Annie. Okay, I gotta. <laughs> I mean, Uh-oh. all the fantasies are gonna start coming yeah, out now. Yeah, damn. What else? Well, I like the Joker because it reminded me of choking a girl. Oh, and that's my kind of oh. Oh. This what? is what is going on? This, this, this is we all talking about. This is an You don't actually say Jim Rash and the Dalmatians was also part of my fantasy. We've, you know. No. Sometimes you strike gold, sometimes you don't. I mean, I never want to lie to you. Poor and, and Donald's t shirt is all messed up. It's, it's, it's true. And Donald's going to improv another really good line at the end of this scene, which is another favorite of mine. And those ice cream cones are really mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. You're welcome. Are they? Oh, I thought Chris go. Hey. Nope. No, mashed potatoes. Delicious mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Huh. Ice cream. Boop. <laughs> the reaction oh, no. the upset they get over that ice cream spit. <laughs> and he's been devastated by his. That was one of my favorite lines that you guys. Now he's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> like I love that. It's like, well, he's a baby. Like we can both agree. Tell me how you feel. Jeff and Britta did what now? Oh, you're even hotter when you're angry. Let's do this. You hear it right there. Yeah. It's a little oh. bit of the cold right there. Red Shoe Diaries. Red, Red Shoe Diaries. <laughs> Wait, that was it. Yeah. Is your character and 43? Then the butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you added the butt stuff, too. You must have been watching Thank Red Shoe Diaries when you were two or three years old. I love Red Shoe Diaries. That's how they went to bed. Would That's how his parents no, My mom would leave on, like, Cinemax. Oh, I get so when, <laughs> your, when like, your character was six, he, he, yeah. so that was oh, his first encounter too. with Sexual Awakening. That is legit. That and Dream On, I used to, like, sneak and be like, oh, sex. Like, <laughs> this is a good watershed scene for that relationship when it started to like blossom in a you know, conspiratorial way. Yeah. These characters. It was really nice to watch these two together just sitting on the couch having that conversation. This might be like the, the one little... of my favorite jokes of the season coming up here. Yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for taking ugly Annie out of the palm of my hand. And it here it comes. Gonna hit it out of the park in one second. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks for eating all the macaroni. Shut up. <laughs> Nobody even knows what you're talking about. <laughs> now here it is. Wait, wait for it. I did eat all the macaroni. It's messed up that he knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up. That's what's messed up. It's messed up. Wrote that. That. I think oh, that was Dan Harmon. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Dan Harmon, yeah. Dan Harmon, oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen. God. It's messed up that he knows. <laughs> it's, it's like know, that's, that, that's what, yeah, like, that's how we talked in the in Milwaukee when we, <laughs> man, that's messed up. <laughs> you know what's great about these scenes is they were shot in I think about a half a day, maybe three quarters of a day, but it was great to do a really contained runner where you just have a bunch of characters sitting in a room. We didn't have to move the cameras around that much because mm. there was a boat eating this episode. Yeah, that's right, and yeah. you can just let you can just let in a reverse the, jaws this group go. I mean, that's a, the the you know, mm. so the blessing of, of yeah. I love how uh, Yvette has her pur- uh, Shirley has her purse still. No, that's yeah. every clutched. always. And Chevy takes his pratfalls very seriously. This yes. was something that he wanted to get right, even yeah. though it almost broke his back. Time to change the channel. This guy's gonna be begging for change. He keeps making movies this bad. <laughs> they should change this movie to something good. This movie stinks. We better change his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, obviously something strange is happening here. <laughs> making jokes during a movie. Yeah, but you're doing it with the speed and determination of the incomparable Robin Williams. <laughs> I remember <laughs> you got your balls busted on on that line. I know. And, you, and there's a little anger in your in your I'm eyes. Like, I see. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a tenured professor sitting in a beanbag chair. You're not a professor. Shut up, man. Fine! You got me. I did a little advanced work. That's that's kind of the uh, precursor to um, Chang getting fired, is this, the, these scenes. Is that, did you yeah, know that? Seeing his did you think about that? I mean, it was just kind of, you know, watching these scenes, 
we all sit in the edit bays together and we, you know, we give notes back and forth and sort of a time when we assess what's working, what isn't working and what we can do in future episodes. It's a great chemistry he has where, you know, he's a psychopathic character, especially when he's in a position of power in front of the class. You take him and you turn him into sort of a, a, a person who, who's not in a position of power when he needs something and, and he becomes a, a different shade of that character yeah. mm-hmm. and it fits into the dynamic yeah. of the group in a really interesting way. I just got so sick of, like, having well, to write, like... You know, those like, monologues like, in yeah, front of the class. Yeah, just like moments with him in front of the class. It's like, okay, we've done that. I mean, there's some of the funniest moments in the in the series, but but, but then I can't do anymore. Right. I can't think of anything more to he's do. A, he reminds he's like the chameleon of the group as far as like he will turn his back on anything. Like <laughs> I love the fact that like any situation he's in, he's like, I'm gonna I I'm surviving. He'll cut bait. Yeah. Any moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There's no loyalty. Everybody whatsoever. else has loyalties and he's like, I don't. Like so we, you know, we constantly. The production code for this episode is one fifteen. So we constantly, internally, for the rest of the season and probably well into season two, we will always be. We say one fifteen, and when when we what we're talking about is a scene like this, this specific scene where you believe the characters are real. The comedy is coming, at, you know, at a fast pace. There's no nothing exploding. There's no pies hitting anyone's face. You're doing you're doing it in the same series that could do the paintball episode, but. Look what else we can do. You get an elephant's trunk. You can knock over a tree, or you can pick up a house key. And so we say one fifteen, one fifteen. When we we talk about subtle oh. family, like mm. and, and this se- yeah. a set piece that Jeff's about to say. I mean, as you probably know, otherwise why are you watching it with commentary on? We, maybe we're more than a family. Maybe we can. Maybe we can all be sexual together. <laughs> it's, yeah. That's a bad yeah. summary. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they all look around the table at each other and having teed up the concept that. Uh, you, you know, each combination of shot is like somebody considering the other person for a moment in some way, sexually. But it was also came out of us uh, of the real dynamic that we found between these actors and characters right. that that this is a true a truism, uh, you know, as far as these people go. All right, maybe we're not a family. Maybe it's more complicated because unlike a real family, there's nothing to stop any one of us from looking at any of the others. As a sexual prospect. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's down for anything. I like that Annie and Britta goes on for so long. We're yeah. really, we really well, consider that's it. That's for the internet. <laughs> that's I for the crowd. I remember Eva getting really mad because I didn't Ooh. give her enough of a good look. This is a little. This is a little thick. Come on. <laughs> Don't take it away from me. I like but it. you know, it's only it's only thick in retrospect because it's like if had we not gone there, we could have yeah. sat on that for a whole other you yeah. know twelve episodes. But um, and also this was a time when you know we're getting a lot of response and people were like, oh, I, I they can't go there. She's too young. It won't you know. Yeah. And we're like, well, we are going to go there. We so. always, well, we yeah. always have that debate. Is 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 the point? Like we always you know if they're look, look, were they looking at each other too long because. We didn't want to tip it. We wanted to keep you tantalized. The idea of Annie as the, you know, the place, the one thing you thought we couldn't do or shouldn't do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is, again, some of my favorite stuff of the season is, is Vaughn's musical. Yeah, this no. song. Where where did the song come from? Ludwig. I, Ludwig. And yeah, then Joe went in with Ludwig. Ludwig. Ludwig you guys like, so and great. Eric's voice is like, Ludwig's awesome. amazing. We called Dan on the phone, and we were sort of playing pieces of the song that Ludwig was composing, and Dan was writing lyrics and sending them back and forth. And we just put this thing together in like half an hour. Did an incredible job. He's amazing. Amazing. It's such a great song. Ludwig yeah, Koch produced my album. I used my uh, my mental illness as a dowsing rod for good stuff because I have an inappropriate emotional reaction to stuff. I mean, I, I knew I, you know, my cheeks got hot and I started crying when I was hearing this over the phone. The, the when it when it picks up when the mm-hmm. right. yeah when it kicks yeah. in yeah. The, little drum kick and if the, we're doing our job your heart should swell a little bit in your chest despite yourself yeah it's part true. of the, you know it's a good point to talk about what you know one big conversation we had when we were doing the pilot just prior to shooting the pilot was you know a lot of single cameras right now embrace a very cynical tone yeah and a you know uh, something perhaps started with the rest of development was this sort of very acerbic 
Yeah. And Seinfeld. No hugging, right? Yeah, it's anti-emotion. It's anti... Um, yeah, perfect, perfect strangers. Larry David is so mm-hmm. funny being... But he's For him, he's actually not... He's not, a, he's not a cynical voice, but he's so funny being cynical. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, you, all of a sudden you have, like, this... This dark age of like complete, like everyone's saying to everybody, Sunny stop talking, stop being human, stop. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't yeah. want to hear that. That's mm-hmm. the punchline. Shut up. Oh, don't go there. You took your shirt it's off. It's so lame I don't look when you're you. being you. Yeah. yeah. So we said, yeah. let's let's go back in another direction. Let's embrace an an, an older sensibility, and that's why we started using John Hughes as a mm-hmm. reference. Mm-hmm. He mixed intelligent comedy with human emotion. And you know, and every show that got picked up and made a splash that year, Glee, Modern Family, namely, right. like uh-huh. it was, we were a part of some kind of spontaneous sort of decision to do that. This mm-hmm. post ironic, yeah. post cynical. I teared up when it's we a were great shooting shot. this. Song. Oh, so did I. That's because that Chevy was yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, one of the best. This is yeah. one of my favorite tags. Abed as a woman is so. <laughs> I came up with names for all these guys. <laughs> no matter what, what wig you put on Danny, <laughs> he looks like Andy Dick. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the left. I, <laughs> it's a giant chef hat. I remember him so being amazing. like, Donald, this is really heavy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is really heavy. Was this improvised as the last line or was this scripted? I can't remember. This, this the, stuff? The, sex oh, scene. the last line oh, was improvised, wasn't it? Was it was improvised, yeah. yeah. Andy <laughs> Dick. <laughs> the only thing of my fists is humanity. <laughs> thanks for another great one, guys. Hey, thanks, hey, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Watch Bye. Community, Community. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday. Season two.